What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you six iPhone settings that you need to turn off right now for privacy reasons and to improve your battery life. First one is iPhone analytics. So if we open settings and then in settings, we scroll down until we see privacy and under privacy all the way down until we see analytics and improvements. So basically what this does, it sends daily diagnostics and usage data to Apple to improve product and services that they provide. In my opinion, that's a problem. Your iPhone should not be sending any kind of data to Apple and plus it drains your battery more. So right here, just toggle the switch and turn this off. Next thing we're going to turn it off is significant location. Basically, significant location keeps track of everywhere you go. It uses GPS data and then they can deliver relevant advertising to you. It's supposed to make your experience better, but I don't think Apple should know everywhere you go. So to do that, we need to go back to privacy and then scroll up and then under location services, scroll all the way down until you see system services. And then right here, you'll see significant location is turned on. Press on it. And then in here, you can see significant locations is turned on. And you can see right here, there's my home address and my entire history where I used to go and all my stops and all my visits. So you can clear the history and turn the significant locations off. And it's just stating by disabling significant location, it will affect many apps, but I promise it will not affect any apps. And if it will, you can always go back and turn it back on. So just press turn off. And then you can also clear the data. So nothing is going to be right here. So clear the history and then go back. And then next thing we're going to turn it off here. We're going to turn off basically every service that is turned on by default, except we're just going to leave emergency call and SOS, find my iPhone and share my location. If this is the service that you use. Also, if you travel a lot, you might want to leave time zone. Other than that, if you don't just turn it off. So we'll turn this off, this off, this off, this, this, this right here, right here. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave networking and wireless and this right here and that will improve your battery life by turning all those off it seems like a bunch of apps features and settings will not work but everything's still going to be working a lot of it is just data for apple next thing what we're going to do we're going to limit advertisement tracking so we're going to go back go back to privacy and then in here we're going to scroll down and then under apple advertising by default personalized ads are turned on we're going to turn it off this prevents from user to track when you go from site to site and basically to track everywhere you go so they can send or see what kind of ads are you looking at. And if it's on, they'll be able to get more information about you. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to go back to privacy and then settings. And then in here, we're going to scroll down and then we're going to choose mail and then we're going to press on accounts. And what we're going to do, we're going to change fetch new data push or we're going to turn it off or we're going to set it manually. So if we press on it right here, it's going to give you an option push or fetch. So basically with push on your iPhone is always connected to mail services just to check if there is new emails. So basically constantly is checking back and forth with fetch. You can set either automatically fetch or you can set every hour, every 30 minutes manually or every 15 minutes. So right here, if you have any work email or emergency email, you can leave it at push, but everything else I would suggest just to change it to fetch. So that way it's not going to be draining battery. And for example, if you are expecting an email or something, once you open the app, it will refresh and will check with the mail server, see if you have new emails. And then right here, automatically we'll change it to 15 minutes. And the last thing we're going to turn it off, we're going to turn off background app refresh. So we're going to go back to accounts, back to mail, back to settings, and then we'll scroll all the way up until we see general and open general. And in here, you'll see background app refresh. And right here, you're going to see all of your apps and you see by default, they're turned on. So basically what it does, even if you're not using that app, but it's still refreshing in your background and it's using up your battery. For example, if you're not using Airbnb or Amazon or Apple store, they don't have to be constantly refreshing, even if you're not using them. So turn off, go through all of your apps and turn off the ones that you are not using and that will improve your battery life. And this is pretty much it. Hopefully those six settings that I just showed you 
will help you to improve your privacy and your battery life on your iPhone that I would suggest turn it off right now. And if this video was helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.